Hey, welcome to another tutorial and on this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can set up an entire live stream on YouTube. Now, with that being said, as you can see on my uh, screen over here, I have got OBS on, but I am not recording this video with OBS. Rather, I am using the Filmora screen recorder to capture this. So, uh, there are two cameras right now, as you can see over here. This one is the one that I am talking to. This is the Logitech camera. And in there, there is my DSLR, which is actually connected to the OBS stream over here, right? So, with that being said, uh, now we'll head over to YouTube and I'll show you how you can exactly set up your stream on YouTube and OBS together. So the first thing that we need to do, this is the step one, we need to set up a scene on OBS which we want to go live with on YouTube, right? So the first thing that we need to do over here is click on add scene and this time we'll name it as YouTube live screen just for an example right and click on ok and as you can see a blank screen has been added now the first thing that we want to do over here is we want to capture our input so we are going to use the existing yeti microphone that we have already added to obs if we want to use something new we can go ahead to the new give it a name and then we can just uh, select the uh, mic source from the drop down as well that's very easy to do the second thing that we want to do over here is say for example i want to share my uh, laptop screen with my subscribers right so what we can do is that we can just go over to this display capture click on that and in here i have already got this as screen so i can just add the existing screen over here right and click on ok and boom your screen has been added as you can see over here so anything and everything that's on screen is being shown over here right now right okay additionally i may like to add my webcam to this as well but before i do so let me just go over to my normal scene over here and let me turn off my um, dslr cam from here let me deactivate it so that there is no confusion right now we are going to hit on this plus sign and go over to the video capture device and in here we are going to add the existing sony zv1 so let's click on ok and uh, it has been added so we can activate this and it is going to come up anytime soon so let's wait there you go it has been added right so we can just drag it down over here and using the alt key we can actually have it like this right we can actually uh, crop off the unnecessary parts of it right just like this and therefore to do this using the alt key right now we are going to place this over here as well so I have added my webcam I have added my uh, screen that is my display and I have also added my microphone right so in here as you can see the microphone is getting the sound right now if I want to play a movie or anything music related on my desktop and want that sound to come up all that I need to do is turn this desktop audio on but I'm not doing that right now because uh, I don't want you to be distracted with the sounds right so that being said now let's head over to our uh, desktop and in here let us open a PPT say for example this one so this is the presentation that we have maybe we want our client to join us in a live stream or maybe we want all our subscribers to see on the live screen what we have about HTTPS say for example right so what you ideally want is that you want this screen to come up on YouTube right this screen right here right so you want this uh, PPT to come up alongside that you want the camera that is the this one that is this uh, DSLR camera to cover. Now this camera won't come in. This is there because I just want to communicate with you, right? I just wanted to uh, let you know that uh, we are recording this with another software. So this won't be there, right? Apart from this, whatever you see would be there. So with that being said, we are ready with uh, the all setup of OBS. Now what we need to do is that we need to head over to our YouTube. And in here, as you can see over here, let me just drag my camera to the other side okay okay let me have it over here just for an example so in here you can see my youtube studio so let me do it from the start so that you can get to know how easy it is right so in here as you can see i'm within my youtube channel over here and in here you can just come over to this uh, create right now if you have not created any live stream so far 
then probably you need to wait 24 hours to get approval from YouTube, right? You just need to click on go live and then there will be a countdown time of 24 hours. And then once the 24 hours have gone by, you can go live, right? So I'll click on go live. I have uh, got that permission on. So in my case, there is no 24 hours waiting, right? Mm -hmm. So now you can go ahead and do it in two ways. One is right now, which we can do the start and we will go live right now. Or we can do it at a later date. Sometimes you might have seen that it's a premiere to come up at this date, this time. Or it's a live stream that would start at this date, this time. This is particularly important if you are doing an educational video or if you are doing an event that is going to launch and you want to create a hype about the event, right? So you can do that, right? Now once that is done, we'll click on start. And in here, it is asking me how we want to stream. One is the built-in webcam. This is recommended for the first time creator. So this is something like the ones that I was saying. Nothing but you can just uh, get started with your mobile phone and boom, you are ready to go. But we are going to use this streaming software, right? Just as you can see over here, add overlays, graphics and even more. So we are going to choose this one. So click on go. And as you can see over here, the things have started over here. There is connect streaming software to go live. So this is going to be a preview window, right? And uh, let me close this tip over here so that I can walk you through. These are some tips that comes up. So if you want to read that, you can do that at your time, right? Now, all that I want to show you is a couple of things. First of all, you can actually edit everything about the video, just as you do in case of recorded videos. That is, add your titles, description, text, everything, right? So for that, we can just head over to this edit over here. Click on edit. And in here, we can give our title, right? We can give a description. And in the description, of let me add something like, um, in this video, I am going live on YouTube using a streaming software called OBS Studio, right? And also, I am recording this video step by step, and I would add it in the description so that you can follow the same steps to go live. Just for example, right? And then in here, how do you want to go live? So I am actually using a streaming software. So again, there is the streaming software. And then if I scroll down over here, I can set the visibility. I can set it to public, private, or unlisted if we want to. We can have a restriction as well. We can have a category as well. Then, okay, let me just uh, move my camera upwards so that I can get the scroll bar. Okay, in here, you can choose a thumbnail as well. So let's actually add a thumbnail. And I'm just going to add a... Uh, random one because I don't want to actually take a lot of time in doing this, right? Then you can go ahead and select a playlist of your own as well. That's up to you. You can select the audience. And then, yes, it's made for kids. And no, it's not made for kids. It's genuinely recommended you keep it. No, it's not made for kids, right? And then if, if it includes some promotion or endorsement, you should take this on. Otherwise, you can leave it unchecked as well. And then in here, there are some automatic things that if you want to, you can change, right? Then there's the tag in here. I'll give like YouTube live stream. And now I can add different tags like YouTube live stream, YouTube and live and something like that, anything that we want to. We can choose the languages. We can choose the captions, everything over here, right? Just as you do while you... Uh, upload the recorded videos, right? All of that you can do. Once that is done, I'll click on save. And now you can see over here that this has been saved by default, right? Now, uh, that is our first part done with the step that is setting up all the details about the video. Now, once that is done, we can see on the bottom hand of the screen, there is something called stream settings, right? And in here, you have a thing called stream key, as you can see over here. So all that we need to do is come over here and click on copy. Right, and as you can see, it's successfully copied to clipboard. Now, once that is done, we'll head over to OBS Studio, and in here, we will just head over to settings. Click on that, and in here, we will go over to stream, and in here, now let me again move my camera to the other side, maybe here, right? And in here, we can just go ahead and select YouTube, right? You can see over here, so just select that. And then you can create and you can connect your account as well, or you can use the stream key. So I'm going to use the stream key over here. And in here, I'm going to paste my stream key. So let's paste this, right? And once this has been done, what I can do is that I can just go ahead and click on apply, and I can click on OK. Now, once I do that, 
I would see something going on over here, right? So, uh, so once I do that, I, I would be now going over to here, and in here, as you can see, it is connecting streaming software to go live, right? So what we can do is that we can now go ahead and actually go live. So for that, we'll again go back to OBS, and this time we will click on Start Streaming, right? So if we click on that, it will connect OBS with YouTube. And as you can see, the connection is live. As you can see over here, there is a nice little uh, blue tick over here. And also right behind my camera on OBS, there is a little green dot as well, which indicates that the connection has been successful. Now, once that is successful, I'll go over to my YouTube. And as you can see over here, it is live over here. So, uh, as you saw, I have been able to actually go ahead and get a uh, extremely good connection over here, excellent connection, and it's live on my YouTube channel, as you can see. Now, I am also recording a step-by-step -step tutorial, like how you can go live as well with your YouTube channel. I will leave that in the description so that if you want to go live with your YouTube channel, you can do that as well. So, many of you had asked me this question regarding how we could go live on our YouTube channel from any streaming software. So, uh, I have shown you the streaming software, which is absolutely free of cost, which is OBS Studio, and use it for all of this, right? So, with that being said, uh, that's it. I'm going to end the stream right now. I can just click on this end stream over here, and that will end the stream for now. And I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this little live stream. Now, so let's end this over here. And uh, just one thing that I wanted to show you. In here, there is a chat as well. If you want to reach out to all your subscribers that want go, you can do that as well. So that being said, let's end the stream over here and click on end over here. And uh, we should also go back to OBS. And in here, we can click on stop streaming as well. And that means the entire thing had gone live. And as you can see over here, congratulations. Remember, the next time you go live, you'll have to come back to the dashboard to start your next stream. And if we go ahead on the next, you can see all the analytics has come up over here as well, right? There's the view duration. There's the watch time. There's the duration of the stream. Everything is available. Now, you can go ahead and edit this in Studio as well, if you want to cut a few parts of it, you can do that, or you can dismiss this as well. In here, you can find all the viewers' activity, you can find your stream health, how good your streaming was, and as you saw, there was no problems with it, absolutely, right? Now, with that being said, I'll go back to my studio, and in here, as you can see, I'm within my creator studio, and in here, as you can see, reviews by Shine live stream was available, right? And it has gone live without any problems whatsoever. So with that being said, I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this little tutorial on how you can go live with any streaming software like OBS for absolutely free of cost, and you could go live on places like YouTube, and I have also done one on Facebook as well. So with that being said, it brings me to an end of this tutorial, and I really hope that you have enjoyed it. We'll meet again on the next one.